Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Diagnostic Trouble Code P1870 Transmission Component Slippage. This is a General Motor specific code. Now basically what's going on with this thing, if you can read through it, um, the torque converter clutch is most likely slipping in the converter. Let me show you what we're talking about. This is a General Motors torque converter right here out of an O2 Chevy S10 4.3 liter engine and I'll show you what's going on with it. Okay, so we've got the uh, converter cut apart right here and when you take it apart, um, you take the top cover off of it and the first thing you see is the torque converter clutch. Now what happens on this thing at about 35, 40, 45 miles an hour is this clutch has to apply, it's hydraulically applied against this uh, back cover right here. Okay, so basically I've set the clutch in the cover. This clutch and this cover pretty much turn almost at a one-to-one -one ratio. There is some slight slippage that is okay. I think under 50 RPMs is okay, but the clutch has to be locked against the cover, and it's done by hydraulic pressure. I've taken quite a few of these things apart, and I've seen this clutch just be wiped out, completely gone, and this clutch plate will be metal to metal against this cover. Uh, that's not the case here on this one. What happened on this one is the uh, sealing surface right here. It goes right here. This, I actually took it apart and the O-ring was busted on it. This had converter had recently be, been assembled. It has recently been re, uh, rebuilt and obviously during the assembly when the cover was installed it busted the O-ring or the O-ring was never changed, one of the two and um, this will cause leakage that not applies the clutch. So we're going to go ahead and put a new o-ring on it. Okay, we've got our new o-ring installed on it now and it fits right down in there nice and pretty and it seals nice and tight. You can feel it going in. Okay, put a little grease around it, put it in there. It fits in there nice and snug. It's got a good seal now. So when hydraulic pressure comes on against the back side of the clutch right here to apply the clutch to the plate there's no leakage around the o-ring there. That's what happened on this one. There's a couple other things that happen to these things. Sometimes the rivets will break on these things and they get in there and tear the clutch up. I'll show you a few other things. This is the transmission that this converter is going in. You want to make sure this seal right here is good and always change that. Make sure that this tip right here that the seal rods in or rods on um, is good, not cut or anything or smooth. Of course, always make sure your front seal, your pump bushing, your stator bushings inside of here that support the shaft are nice and tight. There's also another issue that you want to look for, and this is in the valve body. Um, we always put these in on our transmission rebuilds. These are torque converter, clutch, regulator, and isolator valve kits. They take some special tooling to install. You can look at them on the uh, Sonics website. Um, move the mouse out of the way here, show you what I'm talking about. The Sonics website, and it's a free site that you can watch. It gives you information and instruction and everything on that, on how to do those things. Just to show you guys a quick breakdown of the inside of these torque converters. Um, it's hard to do with I'm holding my phone, but there's your clutch, of course. That's called the clutch assembly. This is the um, part that the input shaft rides in. This is the, called the stator. And this is called the impeller. This is the front of the converter right here. I'm not going to get into a lot of video on how these torque converters work a lot uh, on here. I mean, there's a lot of videos on these things you can watch. But basically, it's a uh, hydraulically operated unit that throws one uh, takes one set of fins and throws fluid to another set of fins. And then when you get up so much to so and you get up to about 35 or 40 miles an hour. This clutch is applied hydraulically to this plate right here, which is bolted to the engine, and gives you torque converter clutch lockup, they call it. <clears throat> now the question is, when you have an 1870, can you just pull the transmission out, put a torque converter in, and be done with it? Uh, the answer to that question is yes, possibly, you can do that. I would probably pull the pan off of it, make sure my pan is nice and clean, not ex excessive friction or metal. Uh, you might want to update your valve body with a Sonics valve that I just showed you, and then check the things I just showed you and replace your torque converter. We don't normally do that here. Normally when these things come with 1870, they got other issues inside the transmission. They've got a lot of miles on them. We have the transmission out. We usually do a transmission rebuild. 
uh, updating the valve body, changing the bushings, the washers, the clutches, the bands, and of course rebuilding the torque converter, uh, making sure that the clutch uh, assembly and clutch surface are fine. We're going to get ahead and weld this converter up now and put it back in the car. This is what it looks like when it's all assembled. We ID it to make sure that the uh, converter halves are the same as they took apart. We get a nice surface to weld on and we put it in our converter welding machine and weld it up. Okay, now we've got our torque converter welded up. Uh, we're going to put it in our leak tester, tester for leaks. We're going to check our run out, make sure that we've got it nice and straight. Uh, we have some other videos on our channel about how the uh, computers in these vehicles turn on the torque converter clutch and how they monitor torque converter clutch slippage. If you could check out, if you'd like to check that out. 1870 code. Um, most commonly is the torque converter clutch failing that I've always seen. I mean, it could be other components in the transmission slippage, but I usually see it's the torque converter clutch. Um, can you fix it by just doing the regulator valve and the valve body? I have done that, but only because I knew I had a good torque converter in there and I had a good transmission. And, uh, you know, I went how to pull the valve body down and put a, a regulator valve in and got the uh, TCC slips down and fix it that way. Um, I mean, the most common thing when you have 1870 is probably going to be a transmission overhaul with a torque converter and an updated valve in the valve body. You can try anything less than that. It's not a guarantee. Um, but thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.